Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys exactly how much money I made with my crochet business in the last month, which was April of 2023. So before I start, I would just like to say um, I don't do this full time yet because, um, well, the money I make from this is not enough to live off of, but I do plan on doing this full time. This is my goal, um, but I do have a job right now to, um, well, pay the bills pretty much. But um, right now, the only income that I'm getting from my crochet business is from Etsy and orders that I get from like friends and family right now because um, I didn't have any craft shows or markets in the month of April and those are a big chunk of my income from my business. I do have some coming up. I have two in May so that will be a lot better but I didn't have any in April so craft shows bring in a lot of income for my business and also I don't make money just yet from YouTube because I need to reach a thousand subscribers and I need to reach 4,000 watch hours and I'm I have not met those requirements yet so I don't get paid by YouTube just yet but hopefully that comes soon so yeah the only way I'm making money from my business right now is uh, with my Etsy and also when friends and family or people message me on Facebook for an order so in the month of April, I have gotten a total of 30 orders. So it was 30 separate orders, like some people ordered more than one item. And my um, whole amount of money without the Etsy fees is $83.34. So that's how much I made on Etsy without um, counting in the fees that Etsy takes. Um, and I didn't really do much advertising, so I don't need to add that in there. But um, so that's like the whole amount without the fees. So I will have to deduct that to get the real amount. Now, before taking off all the fees, I will share with you guys how much of what I sold. And I'll put a picture up here of like what it is kind of thing. If it's a pattern, I'll put a picture of kind of, you know, the, the product there. So I sold 13 mini whale patterns, six elephant patterns, seven leggy frog patterns. Um, I sold one boba tea pattern. I sold three triceratops pattern. I sold one Willie the whale pattern and one axolotl pattern. So those were all uh, digital downloads that I sold. And then finally, I sold one mini Triceratops plushie. So I actually had to ship that one out. And I didn't make much money off of that one because I offer free shipping on my Etsy. And then I try to add the shipping cost into the, um, the item so that it shows as free shipping. So it's more encouraging for the buyers. But in reality, the, the shipping cost is really just included in the item and I really miscalculated the shipping. So I made like $2 off of that because all of it went to shipping, especially when I'm shipping from Canada to somewhere else in Canada. It's like $20, if not more. I think it was $21 to ship that and I had charged like $24 for the plushie. So I didn't lose money, but I didn't make much money on it either. So um, I definitely adjusted the price on my Etsy for that. But if I were to ship somewhere in the States or I'm not sure about other countries, but I know shipping from Canada to the States is a lot cheaper. It's like $11. And then shipping from Canada to somewhere else in Canada is like $20. So I don't know how that makes sense. That's just the way it is. So um, I definitely adjusted the price of that right after. So that was a little recap of everything I sold. So all the Etsy fees um, in that month that I had to pay, well, I didn't really have to pay, they just kind of take it out of the money I made, was $29.84. Now, it's pretty high because when you sell digital downloads and digital patterns, that 20 cents listing fee and that 20 cents is in us dollars so i have to charge a little bit more i think it's like 27 28 cents canadian so um and 
every single time you sell a digital download, they take that 27 cents. It's not like you pay it once and then you're fine until your listing expires. I know it like I thought it was like that, but um, they actually take that 27 cents out every single time you sell a digital download. And then there's also transaction fees, a little bit of everything. So um, I don't make the full money from my patterns. I mean, I always, um, to price my patterns, I always decide how much I wanna make from it. And then I add those Etsy fees to that price and then price it that way because I don't wanna be losing money. I still wanna make a certain amount of money. So I add those fees into my price and then, um, I priced the item a certain way and I still get the money I wanted to get from that pattern. So those were the fees. And then I turned off my marketing for Etsy. So I don't pay daily or monthly for any um, marketing, for any um, advertising or anything like that. But there are the off site Etsy ads. I could turn them off, but I just decided to keep them on because you don't pay them until you make a sale from them. and. It, I only made one sale from it and the fee was 20 cents. So that's like if Etsy shows your listing to other people um, not on Etsy, let's say they're scrolling, I don't know, I can't really think of any way, I'm not exactly sure where they put them, but it's when someone is off of Etsy and Etsy shows them your listing as like an ad or something like that and then they press on it and you don't pay anything until you make a sale from that so i guess i made one sale from that and it was 20 cents so my net profit here on etsy would be 53 dollars and 30 cents and that is not counting that shipping for that triceratops plushie that i really miscalculated so if we take that $21 out for the shipping, my net profit on Etsy is $32.30. Now, I also made a sale off of Etsy. It was to um, a teacher I had in high school. She's been a customer of mine for a while. And she had actually, I have them right here. She actually ordered some um, little maple leaves, like these. And she ordered five of them and I sell them for $4 each. So that was $20. So adding that to my profit would be $52 and 30 cents is how much I made in April um, off of my crochet business. So of course that's nowhere near enough to live off of so far, but um, things just keep getting better for my business. I didn't have any craft shows in April, so that's one reason why I didn't make so much because craft shows are a very big chunk of my income from my business. I have two craft shows so far for the month of May. I don't think I'll have any more, but it could happen um, last minute. So I have two. So. Um, my income from my business in the month of May is definitely going to be a lot higher than this. I will also make a video like this about my income from the month of May, but obviously I have to wait till the month is over. So, but yeah, I just wanted to say like, this is nowhere near enough to live, um, but I'm also just starting out. So um, it's gonna keep getting better. So. I will hopefully get monetized on YouTube. So if you wanna help me out with that, you can subscribe and give a thumbs up, comment, stuff like that. Also, you can watch my other videos if you like these kind of videos. Um, so yeah, YouTube is also gonna be kind of another additional income at some point. And craft shows are gonna be a very big one. Maybe I'm going to make more sales um, on Facebook through family and friends. I don't know. That's not really in my control. And I will do my best to get more patterns out there, create more patterns, put them on my Etsy. The more patterns I have, the more I will sell. So that's about it. So again, just a little recap. My income, like 
with all the fees and everything um, in the month of April from my business was $52.30. So it's obviously not a lot, but it's a starting point. Um, everybody starts somewhere. So if you're thinking of starting a crochet business or just any other business, not even a crochet business, don't get discouraged. Um, you're not gonna make a lot of money right off the bat. Some people do, but most people don't. Most people have to start from pretty much nothing and work their way up. And at the beginning, it's gonna be a little slow, but don't get discouraged. It will get better. So anyways, that's gonna be it for today. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And I will see you next time. Bye.